and I'm so glad that you know I came here. I'm very grateful for it. A level of care, if I've got to say a level, it'll be 100%. I'm starting to see the, 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 the benefits of all our hard work 12 months ago starting to pay off now and come through. Uh, to be honest, sometimes when I turn up to meetings in the council, I feel like I'm part of the team rather than um, somebody from another organisation. My name is Christina Deer and I was watching television a few weeks ago and um, there was a tremendous bang. I was quite frightened. I thought, well, I didn't know what caused it. And I rang the council and they were very nice and said they'd send somebody out to me. When I opened the door, he didn't come straight in. He sort of left the door for about that much and he introduced himself and showed me his card. This is what was so nice, having a man come in your home with no fear at all. I'm always so grateful. I could go to bed at ease because I couldn't have gone to bed, you see. And he, he just changed the situation. Um, it was an emergency call. Um, she had no power to her property, so we had to just come out and attend. It's good to be in a job where you can help a bit. It's not very often that's the, that's the case, so it is nice. Yeah, it's nice. I've been here 10 years and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I feel, I feel very looked after. I mean, I've had three really good wardens that have been regular and every one of them have been top class. At least I know I get three visits a week in five days, so at least I know that somebody's going to be around. If, if I asked for help, I know I'd get it. Uh, and we have a lovely warden checks very regular and always asks if we want or anything done and you think twice as safe yeah and she always turns up everybody loves that do you know her her name is Jan I mean Jan who I've got now has helped me immensely because I've gone down quite a bit more and I've needed like more help that I didn't realize I could get and she's got that help for me. Okay, if somebody asked me about sheltered housing in the Thompson, I would say my experience has been very, very good. Cool Care is split into two departments. There's the Lifeline department and there's the control room. And we monitor, which is answer approximately about 500 calls a day from alarms and they can be hardwired alarms or lifelines. We're more or less an emergency control room because most people call through to us when they have got a big problem. If you ask residents, a lot of them will say it's the reassurance that they have knowing that if they pull a cord or press their pendant, somebody will react to whatever's happening. It sounds really boring, doesn't it? But I do, I love, I love logging on in the morning and taking that first call, moving forward through the shift. Every call can be different. One of the main changes in our department and over the whole of housing is we have now adopted fully the IBS system, which helps us access all the relevant information in one system rather than the two which we previously had. The new IBS systems helped me to do my job a lot more efficiently and um, as I say everybody else now can see what's going on with the properties, what works are taking place there, 
um, hence cuts down on the calls. But you can actually make a real difference to people's lives by solving their problems. Um, you can go around to people's houses and they, they don't know what their options are, what's out there, what we can do as an authority. And then when you present them with that, it makes a huge difference. Um, tenants themselves can come along and speak to um, the housing officers, to the maintenance officers and relate that what their problems are, what they would like us to address. So they're putting across and we're listening to their points of view. We do tenancy audits um, and when I've gone out to see elderly people they have no idea that we can look at putting disabled adaptations into their properties and they've been struggling to get in the bath for 10 years. So when you say that a referral can be made and that we can look into things like that then that's really rewarding and that will make a big difference to their lives. I think we've improved the service most with the, for the tenants by working closely with the housing officers. Some of them are moved already moved down to Westbridge, but soon ever, all the housing will be together, and then we'll have a closer relationship with them. We've done a year of decent homes so far, uh, and we've now just awarded a £22 million contract. As part of the decent homes, we're renewing uh, kitchens, bathrooms, eating, rewires, roof work, and any health and safety work that's needed. I think that it means to the tenants a lot when they get a new kitchen or bathroom. Uh, it gives them more pride in their property and uh, it normally affects their lifestyle quite drastically. In the past year we've worked really, really well as a team. We've all pulled together and we all take bits from each other's ideas and say, well, we'll try this and uh, see how that works. And then given a couple of weeks, we say, well, that's really not working very well. well. Let's try it this way. So everybody's open to new ideas and it has helped us tremendously in the last 12 months to, to take things forward and make things quicker. I guess the two biggest innovations have been, first of all, choice-based letting. Uh, and choice-based letting is a new process in which tenants or prospective tenants can manage their applications, be given more choice. Um, and the second innovation which the local authority has introduced is in respect to something called the Mortgage Rescue Scheme, which was part of a range of measures introduced by the last government as a response to the expected huge increase in repossessions. I think the most positive aspect of working with the local authority is that we have names and faces and regular uh, dealings with key officers within the local authority and also uh, members, councillors. What I like most um, in working with Northampton Borough Council um, is the leadership that they bring to the relationship. Um, the, the team that I've worked with are also very friendly. In terms of housing development, they've taken on board the sustainability agenda in a big way, and that is shown in the scheme that we've just recently completed at Woodside Way. Well, the, the houses that Northampton have built were to uh, code five of the sustainable homes. That, in effect, means that if those people who are living in the house had bought a house from another builder at that time that was built to building regs, a brand new house, their bills will be 90% less. Frank Hasler and Milan are experts at building sustainable, affordable homes and Northampton Borough Council were, were open to all the innovations that we could bring to the table. So I've actually been and met the residents who have moved into the houses. They're all delighted with them. My name's Karen Townsend and my flat's absolutely beautiful. It's out this world. I'm really pleased, can't believe it's true, um, it's everything we ever wanted and look forward to after 10 years. I'd like to give them a big thank you and they've really made a dream come true after waiting so long I could cry emotionally over it and my daughter like I say can't believe it every night she comes home she puts her feet up on the chair and watches a TV and we haven't got to be out at 10 o'clock in the morning or rushed around because somebody's coming out to do a house check. It's our home, we feel settled. It's very, very satisfying to hear that you know things have gone well. So we could have dealt with somebody very desperate that needed rehousing, that's become homeless. Um, they may sort of uh, need lots of money and debt advice. We see people in all sort of sensitive situations. I think you know people that perhaps feel very desperate and that have no help, no hope, sorry, of any help. Seeing them sort of go through that journey, and it could be that we've 
uh, assisted them to stay in their own home or found suitable alternative accommodation is definitely very satisfying. We had a few years of people at the back of me shouting abuse out their windows. Um, we used to get food thrown. Um, they had dogs which were aggressive. I have three children which are my um, grandchildren that live with me, one of whom is disabled and she couldn't go out to play because of the disgusting smell and flies. We rang up to complain about the smell and then we had Winston come out to see us and I made a statement of what had been going on. Well, the complaint came uh, through and uh, I sought then to obviously uh, investigate it more with Mrs Catterborough. Um, obviously with a lot of help from other departments within Northampton Borough Council, um, the legal team were very helpful with their advice. When I did hear that we'd you know, successfully sort of resolve the situation, um, I was happy for Mrs Catterborough and the other neighbours who had complained as well. Um, because it showed that Northampton Borough Council does care for those around um, and you know we believe that anybody has the right to live in their home free of antisocial behaviours. Yeah the team at Northampton really did help us and it's thanks to them we've got peace and quiet. I think in the future with all the changes that are coming in obviously they're going to want us to work a lot lot harder and a lot lot quicker <laughs> and all we can do is try. I am always looking to try and improve things and looking for change. Uh, I'm always thinking of things that we can do um, so having the freedom to be able to do that and to make suggestions is, is really encouraging. I wouldn't want to work somewhere where I wasn't able to do that. We work hard as in housing, um, we do a lot for, for tenants. Um, and I think sometimes you forget uh, the good that you do and when you get a successful outcome it does boost your confidence in your job, it boosts your confidence as a person. Since being at, uh, at this authority there's been lots of challenges that we've all faced, um, various sort of you know, budgetary issues, uh, change of council. I've been really impressed with the initiatives and the sort of forward thinking of the service. Um, I say since I've been in post there's been many ideas that have been brought forward specifically in my teams and how well they've been embraced by, by all the staff is tremendous. We've heard from some of your customers and we've heard from our partners and we've heard from some of you. The job you do is valued by everybody, is valued by me, is valued by my directors and is valued most importantly by the people we're here to serve. This authority is going to be one of the best authorities in the country in terms of public service in a couple of years time and the progress that's been made in housing is a key part of ensuring that we achieve that ambition. I'd like to thank you for all the work you've done and I look forward to the ever better results that you're going to deliver from now on and I hope that in the future we'll have more of these conferences celebrating more of your success. Thank you very much.